I'm a mind coach and I work with elite performers and organisations who are struggling to get the results they deserve. My clients include the leading names from sport, media, business and even professional poker players. When I was at medical school there were only two subjects that really interested me and they were surgery and psychiatry and that's a very unusual combination. I spent most of my life as an emergency doctor and I was privileged to work in countries like Oman, Kazakhstan, war-torn Angola, the deserts of Oman, and I loved every minute of it. But all good things come to an end, and I read a book by Paul McCullough, I Can Change Your Life in Seven Days. Well, it changed my life, and now I'm a student of the mind, and the more that I learn, the more I understand how we can do more with our brain and achieve the results that we really want from life. Have you noticed that confident people make things look so simple. Well, here are three tips to make your life easier too. Tip number one, breathe. I know it sounds obvious, but you'll have noticed that when people are nervous, they breathe very fast. So breathe slowly, because it's impossible to feel nervous when you breathe slowly. Tip number two, you might be waiting to be called into an interview and you're not feeling as confident as you normally would do. So think of a time when you were calm and confident and your brain will start to release those same chemicals and guess what? You'll feel a lot calmer too. And the final tip, number three, is about your posture. Notice when people are nervous, their head drops down, their shoulders droop. So sit up straight, pull your shoulders back. You will feel more confident and you will look more confident and the two go together. So try it. Welcome to my Confidence Boot Camp. The show where every week someone just like you confronts their deepest fears. It could be anything. It could be public speaking. It could be sitting a driving test or an exam. It could be dealing with your difficult boss at work. It doesn't matter. You'll find my methods very different and they work. And guess what? They just might work for lucky you too. As a medical doctor, I'm acutely aware that more and more people are turning towards alternative medicine. Well, I wonder what the reason is. Let's go and find out. Haven't, no. No? Would you, do you think you might in the future? Um, Reiki, acupuncture, massage, who knows? Possibly. I don't know. You keep an open mind. Yeah. You've thought about it. You've thought about it? Yeah. Yeah? What, what uh, do you think it might be useful for? <laughs> Uh, was to give up smoking. Give up smoking? Yeah, that well, was the thought. Some people have uh, used that successfully, so yeah. it's good you have got an open mind and I wish you luck. Yeah, thank anyway, you. I do have back pain actually. Wow. So. so you might consider giving it a try? Uh, absolutely, yeah. I, have, I have considered it. I've been lucky enough to spend most of my life working in tropical locations, but unfortunately it's not all beautiful beaches and barbecues because there's some pretty nasty diseases out there too. And I've added some of them to my collection. Near fatal malaria, dengue fever, dysentery, and the dubious delights of tumbu fly infection. So, thanks for sharing this journey with me. I've had a lot of fun, and I hope you have too. Good luck with everything you do. Fly, fly.